50 men's quarterfinals here at the 2023 CT1 WDF Lakeside World Championship. And we welcome to the stage the former Oregon Open and Seacoast Open champion from the United States of America, Danny Lobby! stage the former Irish Open and Dutch Open champion, the 2006 Lakeside World Champion, the Cobra Yella Colossa! hope everyone is still feeling sharp it might be 10 past 10 at night but this game will keep you awake alive and alert two of the quickest throwers in the world championship field are about to do battle Jelle Klassen is looking to relive his younger days a 2006 world champion beating the legend that is Raymond van Barneveld in the final since losing his tour card a couple of years ago, he's knuckled down, he's taken to the WDF field, and now a more experienced and more mature competitor is looking to become a world champion for the second time. It was easy work for him against Edwin Torbjörnsson in round two, but he was put under massive pressure by his compatriot, Denny Alder-Coulter. He survived a couple of match darts. In the penultimate leg, he took out a 1-3-4 finish on door 13, which is arguably the best finish of the competition. He faced pressure and he lived up to it. As for Danny Lauby, it's been plain sailing for the man from first Indiana. Lag, first lag. It's yellow the film first. He dispatched Jano Bottenberg in the same time it takes to boil a kettle, three sets to nil. And then he similarly ejected Leonard Gates 82. by the same scoreline. Klassen against Lauby, a fascinating match is in contest, is in uh, prospect here. And Scott Mitchell, I think we may have saved the best till last. Yeah, I agree, and I think it's going to be fast and furious. 45. Could be throwing, it could be a point where they throw a little bit too quick and make mistakes. Danny Lauby would have been over the moon, probably, to be playing somebody of a similar speed as him. And Yella probably feels exactly the same. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why it's such a, a great looking match, because the rhythm will suit both players. 57. A pair of players who you look at and you just wonder how they manage to be so accurate when they're throwing so quick. It's like they're not even setting themselves. 87. And again, we all hope that that brings the best out in each other. The cracking contest that it looks on paper. And there's the first example of Danny Lorby's massive scoring power. It took him 18 minutes to beat Jarno Bottenberg, and that included a break. This goes astray when looking for the 20. Double nine for Yella. 78, Danny Uniquire, 40. Two 
chance goes begging for Yella to hold throw. Lauby makes Danny no mistake. Long. Third dart. Danny to throw first. Keep on. Third match in a row oh, that Danny Lauby lost the bullseye in the back room. We were there when he was in the uh, the referee's room, the official's room. That's where the bull-up takes place when he was with Jarno Bottenberg. And it was a funny moment, really, because they both threw, I think, four or five each, and every single one hit the 25. Danny turned to our MC, uh, Anthony Dundas, because he started chuckling a little bit. Lorby hits 25, Jarno Bottenberg hits the bull, and Danny's instant reaction was to 40. shout a four-letter word. What was that? Bull? Yes. Well done. Yeah, well done. Real exuberant character. 16. Someone who sacrificed so much to come over here and fulfill his darting dreams. He's got a wife and child back in the USA. 16. And he plays Three darts wherever he can. 24. Big player on the ADC circuit. Scooping big titles because he is... A real draw in those tournaments. Fifteen. Ninety-six. Then you require seventy-four. Tops. Thirty-four. Then you require ninety-one. Tops. 71. Then you require 14. Thirteen. Well, it's hard to keep Danny up with, but 20. neither of them can hit doubles right now. Yeah, well, can let Yellow dodge the bullet. He lost his own throw. No score. Then you require 10. Busting on the bullseye. Class Very flashy. Up. Absolutely classed up. So chasing around the board again. And that's been sold in the second round. Very long. Third leg is the end of the throw first. Well, I'm out of breath already and I'm only sat here watching. My eyes are hurting. <laughs> One hundred and eighty. Back comes yellow with his. Max. One hundred. Sixteen. Sixty-four. He was a bit like the defending champion Neil Duff, Yella Klassen, winning this tournament in his first ever entry. One hundred and forty. Yella Unicorn, one hundred and fifty. Danny Lorby could do the same this year. 45. 16. Yellow Unicorn, 112. 88. 27, you require 24. So to get his first leg. No score. It's not happening for Yella. Danny, you require 84. His quick combination finishes normally have Lorby's name all over them. 72. Yella, you require 24. Yella has to step in here. This has been what he's been so good at all week is the doubles. I think a sarcastic fist pump, they call that, when you eventually hit a double after three legs of trying and having to go at every leg. 100. Finally hit one. It was a, a very sarcastic fist pump. Yeah, both players will be hoping that they get this out of the system very early on. Every leg so far has had a max. 
I think if you were to back one of the remaining players in the field to hit a nine dart, you wouldn't go far wrong by putting your money on one of these guys. No, you're probably not wrong. Eighty-one. The lobsters look like they've lost all their energy from earlier in the, in the evening. Yeah, you very active 44. down there on that table. 95. Danny Unicorn, 125. Triple 20. 65. Yellow Unicorn, 49. The first part of the equation, right. Yellow's going nine top. There it is, game short in the fourth line. And that's much Yellow better. Johnson. Fifth flag is yellow the and a third set that first. Danny Lorby was in control of against the darts. Oh, swung the way of the Dutchman. 96. 81. 130. Fifty-eight. Since Klassen gave that sarcastic fist pump, he hasn't looked back, has he? Fifty-eight. Something big here from Lorby is needed. One hundred and thirty-four. Julie responds. Actually plays you here, watching his World Cup teammate, the Dutch side, 91. Jelle Klaassen. Pins the 18 22. off to leave himself in 90. But Yella wants the bullseye for set number one. And that is a spectacular Yellow way Klaassen. to win it. First line, Nothing sarcastic first about that fist team. pump. Wins his first leg and in 16. the flick of an eye, he's taken the set. 65. First time Lorby has tasted set defeat at Lakeside. One on the M40. 81. Not following the first start often enough. Not yet. 180. No issue for Yellow where that's concerned. Yeah, his, his his Danny Lowry's barrel is a more standard shaped barrel that you would see most players throwing, and Yellow's is a a very different barrel with a gripping area. You can see there's an indent at the back where he holds it. And you can't kind of get it wrong. You hold it in the same place every time. One on the M14. Yellow Unicorn. Classen. And it's been class. Tidies that perfectly. Second line is Yellow the throw first. Classen by name, classy by nature. 22. He wouldn't have wanted to open up with that. 58. You do all the hard work to break the throw and then you open up on your own with 22. He's fortunate that Lorby is not in the punishing mood. 59. Fifty-eight. One hundred and eighteen. 
sensational grouping. The large crowd going mad here at Lakeside. Sensational grouping. All on a pinhead. Jenny, you require 114. Double 10. 120. Almost another sensational shot from Class in there. 65. Jenny, you require 20. And that's been shown in the second lap. The most annoying doubles to watch when your opponent pins it. Last dart in hand. Third leg is Danny to throw first. King. Five legs on the spin for the Dutchman. He responds with a 180 of his own. 100. Seven 180s in eight legs. Keep it up, lads. Absolutely. We're 100. absolutely loving this. One seven four call from Marco Meyer. Fifty seven. Yellow, you require one hundred and thirty four. Now, is he going to take this the same? Well, he's not going to get a chance. Fifty eight. Then you require sixty four. Sixty four. Then from Lowby to stop the rot. Big sixteen. Don't think he's hit it. Thirty two. Yellow, you require seventy six. Two minutes starts at the big single. 76, Klaassen's been clearing these up for fun. 56. Not to be this time. 32. <laughs> 24. Yellow, you require First two 20. darts were wild. And, and Yellow Klaassen heads into set. the break. Yellow two Klaassen. sets up against the American Danny Lorby. It has been utterly fast and utterly furious. Both players are going for a break. Everyone in the room seemingly needs a break, especially the referee, Marco Meyer. But Lorby has got work to do if he is to advance into his first ever World Championship semi-final. Yellow class and leads, two sets to nil. Well, for the viewers' sake, I hope this match goes on as long as possible because it's absolutely brilliant. One of those where the averages don't particularly matter. It's 87 for Yella, 82 for Lorby. But the speed of play just makes it seem an awful lot higher than that. But Lorby has not had to do this in the tournament so far. He's won the first set and has subsequently gone on to run away with games. He now has to find a comeback. He has to dig in and show resilience. The mental side of the game has got to match the undoubted ability. First up, first lag, it's it's just, just unfortunate first. that he's run into a Dutch Open winner, a World Championship winner, a Premier League participant, probably the most decorated player in the field, even though he started as the number three seed. 100. Danny Lorby, champion of many events in the United States, is in a spot of bother, and particularly if Yella continues to hold his throw and subsequently get a three-set lead. Yeah, I think Danny, what Danny's got to remember is it's only half-time. We're only two sets in of a possible seven. But he's going to have to find that score in range is what he needs to do. 44. Because as I said there to Joe in the punditry, the only way you stop a big scorer is big scoring yourself and make him think. Yeah. 
181. Denny Unicor, 121. A 12 dart leg would be a perfect response. Well, I'm surprised he went that way with yellow on 194, and he's managed to make a bit of a mess of it. Curious decision making. I think we call that a miscount in the. Uh... require 14. <laughs> yeah, he's realised. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But he was good on these sorts of things. Yesterday, 10 for double two. There it is, Kim Short in the first line. Very long. Good ball management. Second line is going to get through first. Kim. What are we talking about? Well, one of the reasons why quick players can play at such a pace is because they can count very quickly. So it's unusual to see from either of these two. It's funny when you're up there and you make a count and mistake and you hear the tone of the referee slightly change. When he called the 107 with Marco there, it was like 107? Yeah, if you saw it <laughs> transcribed, it'd have a question mark on the end of it. Yeah, absolutely. No need to ask questions about yellow class and scoring. 5180s and 100. a 174. One hundred. Yellow unicorn. One hundred and sixty-four. Four tons in a row may not be enough. Eighty-six left. One hundred and thirty-two. <laughs> Yellow unicorn. One hundred and one. Marcos thinking. Please give us a second. 49, Yellow Unicorn, 32. And that's short Break the back second. for Yellow Classen. Yellow Classen. Third leg, it's Yellow the throw first. Game on. These referees like to be tested. I don't think there's a bigger test in the game than, say, this one. 16. Maybe Ricky Evans and Yellow, maybe. <laughs> if you threw him into the equation and made it a three-way match. That would be a headache. 42. Your county teammate, Tommy Morris, would be tricky as well, wouldn't he? One yeah, yeah. 40. He's pretty rapid. Seventy-eight. Ninety-six. Can I ever tell you he's just had his hair tattooed at the back? That's another story, but we'll wait for that another day. <laughs> 16. Yeah, I don't think we've got time for that story in this no, game. No, we haven't. Not in this game. We'll leave it. 83. Lobby's a long way behind. Yellow Unicorn, 122. 1 2 2, took out the first set. He opts to go a different route with Lorby on 44. Not a finish. And it's not the best setup. 180 here, and Yella is under pressure. 140. Yella Unicorn is 78. Thirty-eight. And under pressure, 80. he was. You were absolutely right, Dan. So now be eighty-eight here, double fourteen. Eighty-one. And he had to have a Yellow go at the double seven on 14. that occasion. Couldn't ten that one up. And that's been short in the first. Everything is going Yellow, Yellow Classen's way. Four laggers, Danny the throw first. Yeah. Ninety-five. Danny Lorby found a break at the beginning of this set. 
22. He did not build upon it. No, he didn't. Looks like a bit of blood on the board there. Somebody's cut their hand on a wire or something when they've taken their darts out. And the one there. One on M40. Well, whoever did it didn't take the time to put a plaster on or anything. There's no time for plasters in this game. Nope. 58. Ninety-two. Then you seventeen. Treble ten. Twenty and tops. Thirteen. Time on his side in this one. Yellow back on two one six. What could he score to challenge? Fifty-six. Then you require forty. Not very much. Twenty. Yellow you require. But there is an outside 16. chance for Yellow Klassen to equal the biggest finish of the tournament. One hundred and forty. Then you require twenty. And that's been shot in the fourth line. Big leg anyway, for Danny Lorby, and an even bigger one is coming Klaas up. One hundred and twenty-one. He missed a 180. How did that happen? <clears throat> 78. <laughs> 28. <laughs> 100. Could be advantage lobby in three darts time. One hundred. Still not really following the first dart, He's struggling with the weight of them. A lot of them going into the skinny bit of the twenty. But to his advantage, so is Yellow dropped off here in this leg. One hundred and forty. That one was well followed. 58, then you require 83. So a definite six from here. Well, Abby, he will want to just finish it off. Double 12. 71. 130, then you require 12. Danny Lorby uh, is back in the game. The Danny Lorby. Fourth set, first lap. It's Danny Defoe first. Game on. First one was so close. Just begging to be used as a guide. 16. 135. Forty-one. Mixed back from the American. Fifty-nine. Indeed, and once again, lucky class and didn't do more damage there on his throw. Should look at the ball. Has to look at the ball. One hundred and thirty. One hundred and forty. That's the thing with these quick players; they're so robotic. Sometimes they're halfway through the throw, and then the thought process kicks in, and they have to jack out. One hundred and thirty-four. Going to require seventeen. 
These are the shots he was taking early doors in this match. And, it's been shot in the first and these line. are the shots he Yellow continues Carson. to take. Second line is Yellow the through first. Team on. One of the Americans here still supporting Lowby there, Jim Wid. 14. Sorry, that's our nickname for him, Jim Widmeyer. We call him Jimmy Wid. Paula Murphy stuck around as well, saw her greet Danny for the walk on. He's finding success switching to the 18s. And it's good when players have got these alternative routes of attack. Fifty-seven. One hundred. Yellow yeah, Klassen will get a dart at tops. And that's been Continues to be brutal. This is back to the Yellow Klassen at set two, isn't first. it? Game on. Yellow Klassen with 87. It's back to the Yellow Klassen at set two. I'll give myself a go at a double and I'm going to hit it. You cannot take your eyes off this. No, you cannot. You can barely afford to blink. Potentially, we're only one leg away from the next break. 83. When you feel it's in, it's, it's law be in desperate need of it. Fifteen. In desperate need of three straight legs. Because at three-one. His opponent is closer to the finishing line than he is to his opponent. Chooses to stay for double 13. And that's been sold in the third line. Danny Lawton. To date, that's Danny Lorby's only dart at double in this set. 42. And the funny thing as well is, whoever wins this has got Chris Lamman in the semis. That game's going to be exactly the same as this. Yeah, indeed. Stephen, this leg. Lowry needs a treble now. 59. It's not happened. So, Yellow's mind thought here will be treble 20, treble 20, double top. Misses the 146, and now he's missed the 160. A little Richard Ash down in the crowd there enjoying. 128. Going to require 20. 
Yellow Clapton extends his lead. It is back to two sets. It is 3-1 to the Dutchman. As both players, the delayed reaction, nothing, nothing else delayed about this game. Danny Lorby disappointment for him. Still hasn't been able to kick on. Yella Klassen proving why he has been such a demon on this stage in the past. Looking to win his first title here for 17 years. He is one set away. Elite Lorby, 3-1. Final session of the quarterfinals today. It has been a wonderful day of darts. One of these players is going to be left disappointed by the end of play. And it's looking increasingly like that man will be Danny Lorby. He's got to do what he did against Jano Bottenberg and Leonard Gates. Win three unanswered sets. But Jelle Klassen has shown true class and grit throughout this contest. Lorby has got to find an extra gear. He hasn't given himself enough opportunities in the last few sets. And Yella Klassen is a man on a mission, a man who wants to get the job done, judging by the opening salvo of 140. Odds are stacked against the American now. Could be world championship heartbreak for Danny Lorby, who was richly entertained, but unless he wins three straight sets, he's going to come up short. Yeah, it's a tall order, but I think he's got to come out, break the class and throw here. And then hold his throw. It's always difficult when Klassen is still pounding that treble 20. He's been nice and straight most of the evening tonight. Sometimes you just have to dig in there, and when you get a chance, you have to try and break their heart. And Danny's had a few chances of that, and... And it hasn't gone his way. One and twenty-two. Yellow unicorn eighteen. Tops. Sixteen. Yellow unicorn eighty-five. Hendricks that, that second dart for tops, and he had to move over. And he now just in the wrong treble bed there. He's in the right one now. Sixty-five. You're just asking a lot more of yourself when you only leave one dart in hand at, at things. And that's been shown in the first line. Yellow Classic. Good start right. for Second Yellow Classic. Absolutely. Now we had a chance there to break through, but it was only one dart. You've got to keep restricting your opponent to that on your throw. 14. You don't really want him to have a dart at all. It's pretty warm in here again tonight. I think with the amount of bodies we've got in here, it's uh, something that's going to have to be expected over the weekend. I think it's going to not just hot up on the hockey, it's going to heat up out in the auditorium. And could it be a survival at the fittest? Well, you can see the shiny brows of both of our players. Excellent visit again from Klassen. Even the 167, and this is on the Lauby throw as well. Is he going to go for it? 142. Yellow, you big tease. <laughs> Silly question, Dan. Silly question. 125. Yeah, that's been so the, the 180 came line. too late. Third line, it's Lorby looks to dejected. And to be fair, I think if you wanted to tell the tale oh, of this game, oh, and you had to write it in a book, I would say that Danny Lorby hasn't done a lot wrong here. It's more like what Yella Klaassen has done an awful lot right. 
Yeah, if, if Lorby does critique his own performance, I think he'll probably look at the, the missed big numbers that have come on too many occasions. And the fact that the first start hasn't been followed often enough. Started very well on the scoring. But that seems to have evaporated, disappeared, dwindled. 60, you require 85. 85 points away. Yella Klassen with a brutal demolition job of Danny Lorby. He completes the semi final lineup where it will be double Dutch. He versus Chris Landman. True class from Yella, the 2006 world champion here at Lakeside has put in another fine display. He doesn't look like anyone is there to stop him. Maybe Chris Landman can. Lorby will feel like he stepped on a landmine in that contest against the Cobra who pounced up and bit his opponent. That brings to an end another fabulous day of action here at the Lakeside. But come back tomorrow afternoon for more, including the boys' semi-finals. We have got our semi-final lineup for both the men's and the women's tournament. We will see you tomorrow at the later time of 2 o'clock.